Hello friends, we have received huge response from viewers on this, follow unfollow system in PHP using Ajax, they have request us to add some more feature in this system. For this we have add comment feature in this follow unfollow system, in which user can comment on post of follow user. If you have seen any social networking site, you have seen comment section, so here also we have add this comment feature in our existing follow unfollow system, which we have made in PHP. For add comment feature, here we have make on more table comment, for store comment data, with five table column like, comment ID, post ID, user ID, comment and timestamp. First, we have to make comment button, with comment form, in each post, so other user can comment on particular post. Here post has been fetched on index page by using Ajax request, which has been sent to action.php, so we have to first go to action.php. Here this block of code has been used for fetch images, so here first we have to make comment button, with text area field for enter comment, any on another button for submit comment. So, here we have write button tag with, type is equal to button, class is equal to post comment, in id attribute we have store particular post id. After this here, we have add data user ID attribute, and in this we have store user ID who has share post, and in button text we have write comment. Below this button, we have create on division tag with attribute ID is equal to, comment form with particular post ID, here we have create this, dynamic unique division tag ID for each user. This division tag will be only visible after click on above comment button. Under this tag, first we have write span tag, with attribute ID is equal to, old comment with post ID, here also, we have create dynamic unique attribute ID name, and under this we will display old comment on particular post. Now we have write, text area field with name is equal to comment, ID is equal to comment with post, here also we have create dynamic unique ID name, under this user can type comment. For submit comment, here we have write, button tag with type is equal to button, name and class is equal to submit comment, and in button text we have write comment, by click on this button user can submit comment. Friend here we have refresh page, and after refresh of web page, here in every post we can see comment link, when we have click on this link comment form will be visible on web page. Now we have go to index page jQuery code, and here we have create two variable like post id, and user id, here in post id variable we will store post id, and in user ID we will store user ID. Below this, we have write dollar with document selector with on method, with click event, comment link class post comment, so when we have click on comment link, then this block of code will execute.
Under this, first we have write post ID variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method, and under this we have write ID, it will fetch value from ID attribute, and store under this post ID variable. Below this, we write dollar this with data method, and under this we have write user ID, it will fetch value from this data user ID attribute, and store under this user ID variable. Now we have write, dollar with division tag ID, comment form with post ID variable, with slide toggle method with slow, so when we have click on comment link, then comment form will be slide down, and slide up. Friends, first we have refresh page, after refresh of web page, here we can see comment link in each post, so we have click on comment link. After click on comment link, comment form has been slide down, this comment form will be slide down and up in each post, so user can comment on post, by enter comment under this field, and click on button. For submit comment, we have go to index page, and here we have write dollar document selector with click event, and button class submit comment, so when user click on comment button, then this block of code will execute. Under this, first we have write comment variable is equal to, text area field id comment with post id variable with value method this code will fetch value of this text area field and store under this comment variable below this we have write action variable is equal to submit comment this variable value we will use at server side after this we have write receiver id variable, and under this variable we have store value of user id variable. Now we have write, if statement, and under condition we have write comment variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this, we have write ajax request, with first option url set to action.php, here we have send request to this action.php page. In second option, we have write method, here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have define which data we want send to server, so here we have send post ID, receiver ID, comment and action variable data to the server. Lastly, we have write success callback function. This function has been called, if request completed successfully. Under this function, we have write dollar with division tag ID, comment form with post id variable with slide up method this method will slide up comment form after this we have called fetch post method function it will refresh post data on web page now we have go to action.php file and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable, value is equal to submit comment, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write, dollar data variable is equal to array, with first key double colon post id value set to, dollar post id variable, second key double colon user id 
value set to dollar session user id variable third key double colon comment value has been get from dollar post comment variable and last key double colon timestamp value has been get from this php function so here we have store data under this dollar data variable now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into comment table with table column like post id user id comment and timestamp with value get from double colon post id user id comment and timestamp below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable it will make query for execution for execute query we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable it will execute query and insert comment data friends first we have refresh page and after refresh page we can see comment link in each post so we have click on this comment link after click comment form has been slide down now we have enter comment content under this text area field and after this we have click on comment button after click on comment button comment form has been slide up now we go to comment table and here we have to see comment has been inserted or not so here we can see comment has been inserted into table so here our comment insert code is working now in next part we will see how to fetch comment for each post and display particular post comment below this post and also display number of comment on each post if you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our youtube channel for get more update regarding release of future video lastly keep watching our youtube channel Thanks for watching this video tutorial.